Hey, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. It's that time of year again. Our Viqua UV lamp has expired. Today it expired, but I already had a new lamp and a cork sleeve ready for this day. So what we're going to do is we're going to be replacing the lamp and the cork sleeve. Normally I go with the Viqua UV lamp, but this time I'm trying an aftermarket product and it's from LSE Lighting on Amazon. A good friend of mine, he uses it. He gets the cheaper lamp plus the quartz sleeve in a combo package. And he says it works fine for him throughout the year. So I took his advice and we're gonna use the aftermarket one instead of using the actual Viqua product. And I'll try it out for the year, we'll see how it works. Oh, and I'll leave link down to the UV lamp and the quartz sleeve in the description below this video. Now, if you have the same Viqua water filter system I have, what you're gonna need is the UV lamp that is number 602, 805 so 602805 that is your lamp and the quartz sleeve that the lamp goes into is a 602732 those are the model numbers you're looking for but like i said with this combo package they'll put that together for you and send it to you so now we're going to turn off the water to the system so we're going to shut off the water to the house and i'm also going to change the sediment filter here, but I won't show you that. That's pretty basic. You just undo this, take out the old filter, put in your new filter, tie it back up or tighten it back up. So first we'll shut off the water to the system. Then we're gonna go open up a tap and relieve the pressure. So here's my main water shut off. So now I've shut it off. Here we are at a tub here I have in my furnace room and we'll relieve the pressure. We're gonna leave that open. Okay, my water comes from the sediment filter down here through the UV lamp canister, and then it goes to the rest of the house. So I shut, down, shut off this valve here because I don't want the water to track back from the rest of the home and down into here and keep on leaking water because it'll take forever. There's gonna be enough water in here and in the pipe as well. So it's gonna be a bit of water coming out and we're just eliminating how much water is leaking out back through the system. I have a bucket here, I'm gonna catch some water. But first, we're gonna shut off our Viqua system. And we do that by unplugging it. There we go, it's shutting off. Now we're gonna wait five minutes for this to cool. The lamp has to cool. So we'll just wait five minutes and then we'll start taking it apart and replace our UV lamp and quartz sleeve. Okay, I just changed the sediment filter really quickly. Now I'm going to unattach the wiring, the wire connection to the UV lamp. So we just pull this cap off. There, we unhook the wires from the UV lamp. It's still a little warm. Okay, now I just, what I did is I grabbed the wire here. I hung it up on my tap up here. You could tie it up with a bungee cord. I just raised it up above here because when I open this, water's going to come out. And I don't want to get the prongs in here all wet because then I'd have to dry it out. So one thing I'll show you really quick, your combo here, your UV lamp and the quartz sleeve are gonna come in this little tube. I panicked when I saw this, I got the tube and I'm like, last time my quartz sleeve only came in the tube. So I was like, oh no, I, I have to change this today. And I hope they're both in there, but they were both in there and they come with uh, two of the rubber O-rings. Just gotta unpackage everything. Make sure you don't touch the lamp or the quartz sleeve with your hands. You don't wanna get your oil oil from your skin on there. And uh, I think it's time to take this out now and we'll get to it. So be sure you got your uh, water pail down below and we're gonna undo this now. You just have to turn it to the left. I'm gonna actually pick up my catch bucket here. And like I said, some water will drain out actually quite a bit of water. So we're just gonna twist it until the lamp is free. I have to reach in behind here, around this two by four here to pull the lamp and the sleeve out. There we go. The actual quartz sleeve is on the lamp, it all came out one piece. This quartz sleeve doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape. 
But since I got the combo pack, I'm going to change it anyway. Because it'll it can get a haze on it, and the light won't shine through the haze the way it should to burn off bacteria and stuff like that in your water. So like I said, I just grabbed it from the plastic here. I haven't touched any of this, especially your new one. Now this one's old, it doesn't really matter. But your new one, it uh, you don't want to touch anything. Yeah, it does have a haze on the end of the bulb, so or the end of the quartz sleeve, so I will change everything. All right, one thing I want to bring to your attention is, so this is the old lamp and old sleeve. This lamp fits inside this black ring, if you know what I mean. I'll show you the old lamp, or the new lamp. You see how that is small in diameter compared to this one? So you need this part right here. So you just grab your lamp here and you unscrew it. And there's your old lamp right there. Put that aside. And you're gonna need this black plastic here that's on your court sleeve, the old one. And you just twist it and work it off. And you'll see it comes with a couple uh, O-rings. One O-ring goes on the inside of here, I believe, and one goes here. So we'll put our old court sleeve aside. Like I said, there is a bit of a haze there. I, I could probably wash it, I don't know, but I'm using the new one, we got one, right? Okay, now we're gonna put our O-ring on the end of the court sleeve. Just fit it somewhere around there. I got the O-ring on the end of the court sleeve. Now we're gonna put it inside the canister. And like I said, I'm not touching it with my fingers. So put it in here, be careful with it. It's glass. You're gonna feel like a spring in here. There is a spring in here. So don't push it in and let go because it'll pop out. Just let it sit there like that. And then we're gonna go get our lamp. Now we have our new lamp and we're going to put our lamp in that plastic ring I'd mentioned. Actually, I have to put another O-ring in there first. So we have our O-ring in there. We're gonna put our lamp in. And we're gonna thread, thread the new lamp into this plastic ring like this. And there we go. It's ready to install. See how I don't touch the lamp? So now we're gonna insert the lamp inside the quartz sleeve like this. Slip her in there. And this plastic ring will thread into your canister. There we go. So this is all set now. So now we know our O-rings are all in the right place and there is no water leaking. Now we're gonna grab our connection here. And you're going to see it has four holes here. There's four prongs here at the end of your lamp. And then there's two prongs here for here. So now we're just going to put this connection here. There we go. That's in place. Now we're going to install this cap. Put it back where it came from. There we have our clamp back on. And this wire here on this system anyway, that's at the back here, just make sure it's on the outside of your cap. Don't try to fit the cap back on with the wire inside. Okay, now we're gonna plug our Viqua system back on. It's gonna make some beeping noise, don't worry about it for now. Everything is red and we haven't reset anything yet. Okay, now we'll turn our water on to the house again. Um, just take your time, do it slowly. We'll check for leaks. All right, guys, we didn't have any leaks, which is a good thing, but it's happened to me before. You only do this once a year, and you're not doing it often enough to always remember exactly what to do. But if you do have a bit of a water leak here, what you can do is just make sure that those O-rings are in the right place. Make sure that O-ring is around your quartz sleeve, and you have one inside the lamp that goes to the plastic ring, right? So just make sure everything lines up, make sure that your um, court sleeve is fit inside that O-ring, not up against it, because that will cause a leak. And you should be fine. If, if that happens, just shut your water off and check it all. Make sure all your O-rings in the right place and you should be fine. Our system's on, our water is on. 
So now we're gonna push this button here and reset the Vicoz system back to 365 days. So we're gonna push it and hold. So there we are. Our controller is reset to 365 days. The lights are green, there's no alarm, everything's good. What happened was when I was resetting this, it reset like this and then it went into alarm mode. So what I did is I just unplugged it again and I let it sit for about five minutes. I don't know if that made a difference or not, but I let it sit, I plugged it back in and then all these lights were red. This one went green and then it went out and these two went green. So then I pushed this button here and I held it and it made a beep sound, I let go and everything is green lights now. It's working fine, 365 days and we're good to go. I wanna thank you for watching this video about the Viqua lamp replacement. If it helped you, great, hit the like button. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one.